Again, Ali Campbell Hump, we're still doing the uh, uh, Friday night, no, the Friday night, the open mic, open mics. They have, on the, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to get in, but they're trying to get a murder mystery Valentine's Day going out there. That's kind of last minute. I'm not sure, yeah, when's Valentine's Day? It's two weeks. weeks. Yeah. Yeah, I think the mystery is if anyone's going to come. Well, <laughs> my, it's, it's my fault because there's some things going on on other fronts. 
uh, I, 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 I know, buy attention as well. And uh, we'll see if we can get uh, going. But Kilo Hump, as usual, you know, if you can give your support to them, it's always good. It's a good cause. So here we are at the Jetport Lounge. Come on down. Uh, some people here. Everybody just give a shout out. Yay! Hello, boys. Yes. Yes. So we got a fantastic uh, band. Uh, yeah, well, with us tonight. I'm, I'm, in, I'm interested in this one. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, take, take care of this. This is a uh, really. I've heard that before you guys. Right, right. They sound good. Go ahead. Good evening. Hello. Hello. I gotta tell you. Looking at this. Uh, flyer. Can you see that? You're live. Looking at this flyer, <clears throat> my first question is. With all the experience and, and obvious avenues of entertainment, how did you guys meet, get together, and form with you right now? Well, you're not a <laughs> <laughs> um, This started long ago back in uh, the Bangor schools in uh, Bangor, Pennsylvania. Um, I was a grade ahead of her in school, and her and my sister actually became good friends. And, We've been acquainted over the years, but not until about four years ago when my sister said, my friend Lori's looking for work to sing. And I said, oh, is that her me? I'll put her to work. So we've been together the past four years. So what was your background prior to getting together? What was your forte? Well, I, I started out in 71. She started out in 73. I uh, started taking sax lessons and learning how to read music. And then I went to piano in 73. Because I just fell in love with it. And, um... Well, I was actually with a, um, a stage group, the New Approach, up in the Slate Belt area. I was in New Approach. Were you? I was for two two seasons. Yeah. Oh, wow. I started when I was in probably seventh grade, and I I'm still sort of in it I, when I have time. But uh, I think yeah. two two thousand nine and two thousand ten. Okay. Summer of two thousand nine. Okay. Yeah. While was, she was doing that, I was uh, doing um, uh, seminars with Bobby Grosso and um, singing in the Pocono Boy Singers. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. That's okay. <laughs> and I actually did it. I was with a, a wedding band for 10 years, every generation. And then uh, I took a leave to have my children. And now we're, we've hooked up and now we're, we're uh, busy, very busy. I, lo I love the... Uh, oh, the many different styles almost, that you guys do. Personas. Yeah. Because we try to, we try to keep it different so that we're not the same thing all the time. And everywhere you we're go is a different place. You could go to a country band and play some country, you could go to a school and do Broadway, you could do whatever you want to do and it's really, really nice. You have some really, really nice things. What I think is so Johnny nice. Cash, Marty yeah. Brown, Christmas of course. Um, World's Fair show. I don't know what that would be like, but that sounds like a lot of fun. That one is a different song from each country. They sing, hey, ah. it's a small world after all. Hey, it's a small world after all. I, I hated that song when I went to the World's Fair in 1960 and I was only four or five years old. I hated that song. We also do children's music too that's not on there. But, right. uh, children's music. I think that's why I asked the question because you know, a lot of bands go, we're going to do this, or we're going to do this. You have such a broad spectrum, which I am not going to waste a whole lot of your time performing. But 40s, 50s, Jimmy Buffett, and then you go to Motown and you. I love it. I love the combinations and stuff. It's a um, lot of hard work, but we have the time to put in it because we do this full time. Yeah. So Very we're cool. constantly learning songs, putting shows together, and uh, some of the locals may remember I played with Larry Holmes in the Marmalade Band a few years back. Very, very nice. It's always neat to in introduce someone new to at least me, which is nice, because I don't get to, I never heard you before, I know of you now, but just like everybody who's listening and watching now, it's a treat, because no one knows yet. Yeah. So, if it's a... If you have another question, why don't we just get them to... Yeah, get them to play something. I want to ask, give us what, something is, what do you guys list. call yourselves? Lori and James. Lori and James. Lori and James. Good. I, I wasn't sure. 
But that's great. Yeah, yeah we just go by our names so that, you know, everybody knows who we are. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. we use the full names when there's enough room. There's enough space on the poster. Yeah. Right, there you go. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. We do add other musicians to our, our groups. Uh, we have a jazz trio and we have a rock and roll band and a country band, so. Johnny Cash band for when we do that. I come out and play guitar and we pretend to be Johnny and June for an hour. That's good. We have a Patsy Klein show coming up on February the 19th up at the Gap Theater. And that's at 2.30 in the afternoon. You got us all interested now. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Take it with whatever you're going to go with, this will be fun. Well, I think you might find this interesting. The hardest thing to do was to pick only a, a handful of songs. So what we tried to do was, uh, the first ones you'll hear is like a 1940s, 1950s, and 1960s, right on down. Okay, let's get you started. With so we get older get you to play as many listen. songs as you can. Okay. All right, All right great. Eric, Lori and James, everyone. First Lady of Rock and Roll, because long before Elvis and long before Bill Haley, Laverne started her career in 1949, and here's one of her big ones.
you. Wow. Quick All question. I can say is more. You guys are originally from Bagger? Yes. Oh, my old stopping ground. Is it? Seriously, yes. The old stopping ground. The old. Oh, oh, they kicked country. you out. They kicked me out. Right. Yeah. Yeah, my family's originally from Sleep Hill. So, we'll go into that. She don't want to even say that, do you? Fine, I'll tell you, from Transylvania. So, but anyway, tell what was you from up in that area when you said that. Okay. I'd like okay. to tell me more than that. So, yeah, with the new approach, <laughs> yeah. right, I was with them for two seasons. That was mm -hmm. a lot of fun. Now, what is that exactly? I'm, I'm not it's just sure. a group of people who get together for um, for Gene um, Jean Pinto. Jean Pinto. Gene Pinto's uh, only child um, died of cancer, and uh, she, she was also very talented. Extremely yeah. talented, yeah. and they do it to raise money now. And they've been doing it for like how many years? Uh, Forty-six years. Yeah. Yeah. And they put together shows uh, made up of popular songs of, of whatever time the times. They have a theme going, and they make their own vests mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for the show. Everybody has to make a vest. We'll have a vest made for them, and they pick the materials. It's just a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, really we rehearse in we rehearse in a school. Um, we you know somebody everybody donates their time. Everybody yeah, it's like a pro Broadway yeah. production at a local level. Yeah, what kind of yeah. Shows they do? it's really good. It's just a group of people. They Sounds do. Like it's variety. They do mu music. There's skits. There's um, a lot of a lot of uh, like there's a 50s segment. There is a um, soloist that come out. Just People have been in it forever. Yeah. There's there's some the women that have been in it. The numbers are all, are all uh, uh, choreographed. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, there's some members that have been in, in it for over 35 years. I guess I am included. <laughs> no, I'm just, yeah, so we have that in common. That's really great. Yeah. Um, so if anybody from New Approach is out there, just uh, you know, give me a holler on Facebook. I'm friends with some of them on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. I played in a couple shows also, but yep. if we didn't cross paths. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Like I said, it was just two seasons, was, and then I couldn't keep doing it. I was in the pit band, so. The pit is very, very important. Yes. Yes, it is. He was also in the dark, so you never saw him anyway. Yeah, right? <laughs> James, I do have a question for you. Well, looking at your rig, do you ever go out with double keyboards? I do, um, but tonight I picked out certain picked out certain songs that I figured the keyboard would cover. Okay. Keyboard. But normally I do too when I do band stuff. Very, very cool. Yeah, no, so. Yeah, close your eyes, you sound like the whole band. Exactly Thank what you. your, pro, your profile says. Um, you, you got everything going. And a question for you. You obviously are in this more approach stuff. Did you start singing in choir in church? Yeah, I, I started off uh, in the in the choir in church, and then um, I was in choir in, in the band, banger band, and um, chorus, I guess it was called, and then uh, New Approach I started when I was about seventh grade. Went all the way up through high school, and uh, then after, after high school I joined in with a, a wedding band. Did that for about 10, 12 years. Was that weird to be in a wedding band, being young enough? I was I was married. <laughs> I mean, that's a personal question. I got married at 25. Okay. And I was I started the wedding band probably when I was like 26. So. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I was going to say if you were 18 going to wedding bands, that must have been no. a little weird. No. Is this what I'm going to look forward to? I don't think so. <laughs> I have to do the chicken dance. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I did not do the chicken dances. I heard some com I heard some comedian make a joke about uh, doing the electric slide. That he was also in some kind of. Uh, he had been to so many of his friends' weddings that he must have done like 17 miles of uh, electric slides. So I thought that was a point. The no, best no. thing that ever happened to the electric slide is he turned into uh, with uh, Born to Be Alive. Seriously, they stopped dancing into the electric slide and they start dancing into Born to Be Alive. Which is actually a lousy song. Seriously, that's what they did to it at some other times. Okay. And speed it up, it doesn't make it so boring. Right, right. You know what I mean? And uh, there's a few other songs that do it too. But, um, you, you guys, now I, I know you do special shows, but you do generic stuff like nightclub appearances. Um, go ahead. What did you say? Do you do just straight. Our sound's kind of screwy here, just the way things are laying themselves out on the board. Um, 
Do you do just like nightclub appearances? Yes, yeah. We're actually going to be at the Lackawanna Hotel up in Stroudsburg. Was it East Stroudsburg or Stroudsburg? East Stroudsburg. East Stroudsburg uh, this Friday night. Crystal Street. Yeah. Crystal Street. We're going to be at the uh, West Copley Manor Corps on February the 18th. Um, where else are we going to be? So we do a lot more yeah. rock and roll and things like that. You yeah. Know, Skinner, Carol King, stuff like that. Nice. We have a Facebook page. It's uh, Lori Pulp Woodward and James Hummel Entertainment. Our schedule's on there, so you can check it out. I have everything that's uh, public highlighted in, in yellow, so you can check out the schedule and, and come she, out and see us. She dropped a memory for me, too. A beggar band is something we have in common also. While I was marching around the field on saxophone, she was a majorette twirling a baton. Nice. Yeah. It's, great that, it's great that you found this together, because it yeah. sounds really good. Yeah. Um, I look forward to hearing more. I hope you got something more for us right now. No, it's rock and roll, guys. All right. It's Lori and James, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We thought we'd do one from the Patsy Klein show. It's not one you hear too often. We discovered this gem looking through the internet and old records. It's called Got a Lot of Rhythm in My Soul.
Motown review. Fitzgerald and things like that. But 
we uh, we get called for that in the country clubs. But yeah, I, I'd say that's my favorite stuff. Is that I, I, like, I like that too, but I, I tend to sound a little more country. Everybody says I have a country twang. So you're, I kind of well, like the fancy club. Very She's good. a little bit country. I'm a, and he's a little bit rock and roll. roll. <laughs> right? <laughs> now, that, that answered my question because, you know, the, the wide range and variety, you have to have a favorite. And that's yeah. actually the roots of everything, too. Yeah, I mean, if I had to choose, naturally, I think I would just choose the variety. <laughs> Because I do love the variety. Yeah, I like it all too. One keyboardist to another. I'm looking at your hands and that kind of stuff. Hey, watch out. <laughs> Look, I can't think of anything. Anyway, so who, who's your inspiration on the keys? Oh, uh, back when I was a little kid, my mom's records, I had uh, Jerry Lee Lewis records. Oh, yeah. Nice. The killer, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, yeah, okay, he's your big guy. Can you, can you, can you yeah, start, and then when as I got older, I got into people like Keith Emerson, uh -huh. you know, Wakeman, different people like that. Can you play like Jerry Lee? Have you tried that? I have. Does yes. it hurt? He sounds just like him. He sounds just like him. How about Chico Marx? You ever see him, Bill? No. Chico Marx, Marx Brothers? You ever seen him play? No. Look him up on YouTube. Yeah, I will. The, the man's got fingers, I mean, he's got 30 fingers on one hand. It's something he's amazing to watch. But I'm just curious. But Jerry Lee, yeah, the killer, he's cool. I love it. So what else we got for? We, what's our time here? The 38. We've got about seven minutes here. So what can you knock us off of? Knock us right out of the park with? Yeah. All right. Well then, let's party. Ooh, All right. Go let's ahead. do it.
Lorian James, thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Known as Lorian James or Lori Colt Woodward. Yeah, Woodward and James Hummel. Yep. Uh, before we go, uh, someone posted on Facebook a little bit ago, Rebecca Zeller's row, quote, looking and sounding good. And I have a feeling oh, that yeah. Thank you, Rebecca. everybody here and everyone listening would agree with that. So Very much so. If, if anybody can actually just look up a moment for eating all that delicious food and give these two people a big round of applause for this tonight. You do realize that that was all paid. You can come yes. out of your pocket for that. But uh, again, excellent. If you have something to say. Yep, yeah, again, one more time. Tell us where we can find you. Um, we are at Lori Culp Woodward and James Hummel Entertainment on Facebook. And there's a schedule on there with our different events where we play at the. Um, the uh, Christopher's Lounge over at the Knights of Columbus a lot. Yeah, that's coming up in February. Mm -hmm. And we play at uh, West Copley Manor Corps. We play at Fire Companies. Um, all also, over. too, uh, you're going to post on Rocking the Valley. Right? Yes, yes. So if you're not sure where to find them, to book them, they, look, they, they sound like, they're, they're, they sound great, a lot of fun. Uh, bring, you know, if you want some entertainment, this is of any kind, you got to check them out as Lori and James. And um, you'll find us on Facebook. Find them on Facebook, okay? And you'll know, it's, you'll know it's us too because she uses two R's. Lori. So if you see it, Lori, like two R's, it's us. Oh, you're driving me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Time to pack up. Thank you so much. Sorry we couldn't have more of you. you it was delightful fun. Thank you. Thank, thank you for you having for us. Coming, thank thank you. you for coming and supporting live music. As what's, what we do here is we support live music on Rocking the Valley. Okay. So, um, and it was a little bit of reality TV, too, because we didn't know you were a new approach. Yeah, right? So just now on the we radio. Talk about you that never too. know you might want one degree of separation from all those people. Yeah, I know, right? We'll have to talk. Yes, we're going to. You will. Okay. Take care. Let's see what comes from Valley on behalf of... Uh, anyway. <laughs> Uh, on behalf of uh, the Jet Fort and that fellow Earl Andrews, we'd like to thank Jim Howell and Lori for coming out tonight. Thank you very much. So, so up next we've got a little modified version of uh, Seal Notes Magazine Live uh, for the new host, S. Okay. Josie is our new one. We're going to up very shortly. So come on down here at the jet port. Lots of good food, lots of good people, lots of good drink. Don't forget your bartenders and your waitresses. So for now, see you, Kristen, here. We're going to take a short break. Don't go away. We'll be right back.